Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay. There you go. That's the stuff right there. There you go. Feels what my mother stated me. <clears throat> we'll be leaving this for you. But it, she refers to me as a mental patient to make myself fear. And is making fun. Ridiculing. Two things that probably would hurt human dignity the most. One is psychiatric hospitalization, which took place in 2013, 2015, and which destroyed no less than 10 years of my life, definitely, uh, beginning 1995, when under MKUltra it was nothing but a psychiatric terror threat. How I'm going to be hospitalized at any time. That makes, oh, well, it took them, it took them 18 years to hospitalize me. 18 years of torture, threats, psychiatric threats. Altogether, it makes 28 years of this kind of crime here. She left this in an extremely messy condition here, as you see. I didn't bother to clean this up. Look at that. If she was going to eat this stuff, because these are her medications, and this supposedly would be a reminder for me, she could have found herself a better place to leave those pills. But <clears throat> there is something else to this I have to say. The one behind this stuff was a psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch, who stated to me, when I see you becoming messy, that's what I'm going to leave you. It didn't come to me. It just came to me right now. You're going to start to see this. And the next shocker I got this morning. But this is basically the way I do the stuff. I ate. I had a big meal. Big ass meal. I ate good. And as you can see, everything here is clean. With exception of coffee I prepared. Which I'm still drinking. That's from my mother, right there. My mother is clean person. Don't get me wrong. That's one thing she is. She's clean. <clears throat> go into another issue before I go to another issue. It does not allow me to put strawberries, cherries, plums, frozen, which she leaves out at five, six o'clock does not allow me to put them when I get out does not allow me to put them inside of the fridge that is the food father will get today she's going to mix that and she's going to bring him I was told on that MKUltra it's not good stuff she told me it's not okay to say 5, 6 but it's okay to say 8, 9 well I'm just saying the truth that's what she instructed me during MKUltra torture to say going to the next issue I don't know if it was two months ago I have unclocked this thing it's all video recorded because this would not be uh, taking the water this thing will not be taking the water. And this has a much deeper meaning, this issue. Much deeper meaning. In this issue, they literally have involved, talking about the police, psychiatrists, literally have involved my issues related to the health, related to the cancer, to the thrombosis, which I would be suffering from uh, on first occasion this was filled with earth, with the ground here, all the way. I have un uh, unclocked, took that out, cleaned that out. But now, and it's because director of Nova Mesta Police stated me, because you once have washed shoes in here, 
and you cause this thing here and you're not supposed to wash the shoes in it maybe 15 years ago maybe 13 years ago that I maybe really did or something like this and then the police told me that's what you're gonna get you're gonna have to fix and they had other people involved from all over the place that were demonstrating me to clean this stuff here yeah very nice very very friendly this here the issue of clocked not taking the water clogging the water was compared to my future thrombosis cancer how i'm going to be fading away dying eventually it's going to happen that is not going to be consuming the water uh, that's what they com compared to my veins clogged veins that's how it's going to be it's just going to be fading away fading away then at one point in time it's not going to be taking it anymore and they teach to put all kinds of shit inside to unclog the stuff which i tried for some time and it didn't work then i went manual just as i video recorded and have removed completely completely stuffed with the ground with earth shit from uh, from the system that was two months ago now i see something else i'm gonna have to pay attention to because this is not the way it should be this is not the way it should be this stuff like this it doesn't work like this when I clean it up, it wasn't like this. Further, everybody who was coming inside of the house during MK Ultra was using this to release himself. Uh, you know, to pee inside in here. Talking about the males. Everybody. This is just size, talking about height wise appropriate for one to re release himself because the father built a toilet so small that you could not use this and piss inside you would have to sit on it and so on and so everybody was using this exactly for what i stated including myself i have to say and it was not only under mk ultra husband from my sister was the one who started with that type of culture first i started to do this in 2020 simple i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you and so it creates a disgusting issue it involves the, this really really disgusting issue which is really not disgusting if you wash away which i always do but still you don't have as a police officer authority to go inside and do the shit like this this is not your home this is not your place it's my life i have the right to one you didn't bring me to the world you're not god you don't have the right to trespass and push down people the way you want things to do the next thing i realized was this year this is a psychiatrist peter Kapsch who stated me will have mother to do the stuff like this once he realizes I'm messy. I'm not doing the cleaning and so on and so forth. The same shit like with the pill you have seen. And it didn't come to me. I took photo first to confront the mother. The thing is that never ever have I lived something like this in my lifetime anywhere. The thing is that under MK Ultra it was Russians who never flush the fucking toilet. They keep, they repeatedly left the toilet unflushed, very filthy, for other people to remind them on what they should do. Till they started to do this deliberately and develop the issue out of this, which would affect me during MK Ultra. So it was failure to flush the toilet behind them that became a challenge, a future challenge for me, which it doesn't affect me because I always clean one. Never one, one single time have I ever failed to flush the toilet in my lifetime. In my lifetime that I would leave the toilet 
in my lifetime they would not be flushed. However, they started to affect me through this kind of issues related to other issues such as cleanliness. Uh, what about the cleanliness? What is, what is wrong with my cleanliness? It is wrong with my cleanliness. With my cleanliness is wrong because I do the news, I do the stuff that other people don't. I'm not an easy situation, I'm not an in, in easy position, you know. I'm not going to be lying to you. I have to do some cleaning because for the last three days I was doing nothing but cleaning, cleaning of the car. I had a war with a mold which I'm going to take from here to demonstrate you. And on top of that, I have to publish the news. What kind of news is this stuff? Well, this news, let me explain to you something. What kind of news this is? So that, 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 that we see each other face to face. No, it, actually face to face because you're watching this. You're watching this. This is the only news in the world you watch. This is the news for you you fucking watch. That's all you fucking do. People from Asia refer to my news site, my website, the videos I make, the news. The rest of it they see on the internet a shit. A news. A news because it's not controlled by the government. A news because it's a real truth about what goes on, what's around, what's really happening. And what the fuck is happening? Well, I'm going to tell you as a epitome. I'm going to tell you as a conqueror of the mental health. The number one ever, not as a mental health expert, the one who managed to survive and hurt in return, no less than 28 years of MK ultra violence. I am no mental health expert. If I would refer to myself as a mental health expert, you know, because mental health is actually fitness, I would be a bum. that's walking and talking to himself on the side of the road or inside of the Buckingham Palace or inside of the psychiatric office or whatever. That's a mental health expert to me. You got to admit you are a ground, a base for the mainstream media which doesn't see, doesn't hear in other words, doesn't know. Something Joseph Stalin had dreamed about. You gotta admit this. And you gotta admit you did this stuff so you could drag European Union on the same level as is Russia to equalize. Because you have other plans than Ukraine. You gotta admit this stuff. The one who make your plans very difficult, if not impossible, but rather impossible, was the epitome, the excelior, the superior, the conquester of the mental health. You got to admit this. It goes for 28 years. In 2017, the only thing, the only tip I got, the only thing I was taught by the European Union politicians who came here in this house is that I'm going to be having a huge difficulty at this point, not at this point, but huge difficulty that I'm going to have to fight with the mother to stay alive. But the thing about it is that I laughed at them, frankly in the face. I asked them, I questioned them, how the fuck? I said, do you see me? And yeah. Do you see how I look like? And do you see my mother, how old she is? And you're saying that I'm going to have a trouble with the problems she's going to create to me to get by, that I'm going to have to fight for my survival? 
next to problems she's going to be creating me. And they say, yeah, but you will have this kind of and this kind of and this kind of health issues, which they, create, which they triggered. And they really did. They finally completely broke my spine in Poland. They triggered cancer, thrombosis. To tell you, not a pleasant world to live in when you have 24 hours, seven days a week, sound, blood pressure sound in your head that at times become painful at the center, in the top of the head. Um, and you are actually reminded through the computer about these issues. I'm going to demonstrate to you some spam, some ads they have loaded my virus, which they, it's a, it's a virus that, that, that just triggers an advertisement, whether you have ad blocker, or you don't have one and so on, and it will just throw you the, the shit in your face, like it or not, it's going to come. For what they told me the case is going to be, basically making derision joke out of <laughs> the most serious human concerns related to health, physical health. Well, that's okay. I told you, I'm no health expert. I told you exactly what I am. You know, cleanliness issues are excuse for probably denying me the right to social security, denying me foremost, because I never want social security. I was not interested in fucking social security. I was always interested in work and job. They couldn't prove me wrong because I went with minimum wage and have collected more money at the minimum wage than uh, thanks to my work ethics, thanks to my work habits, than people who earned three, four times as much money as I did, thanks to my saving habits. There was no restaurants, there was no health fitnesses, there was no traveling, there was no leasing, cars, apartments, just work and to live through the minimum wage, save the money as much as I can, which they turned against me, all right, turned that into savings used to survive, literally, while fiddling at a tragedy that went on through Canada, several states, United States of America, throughout Europe, more than a dozen country, countries, including in Ukraine and even in Belarus, applying from door to door for jobs. Well, you know, when you do the stuff like this to somebody, that you give him a support, financial support, 1500 euros in no more than 17 years during which you keep him unemployed, forcefully unemployed, 17 years, 1500 euros of social support with the right to broke your spine in Poland for pff, I think, how much was it the pay? Uh, the pay was I think like four euros per hour or something like this even less I think three euros per hour um, before that I was literally cleaning the roofs and stuff like this when I think about if I would fell down, break my spine and everything. And I'm thankful to the Polish people that allowed me to do this. This would be a fucking tragedy. When you do this stuff like this to the person, you know that you fear that person more than what you fear death. You fear me more than what you fear death. The death is not as scary to you as I am, the epitome.
the conquester of the mental health, the number one in this world. You wouldn't be doing stuff like this. You wouldn't be stamping that I'm a paranoid schizophrenic in 2013 lying to the police about the domestic violence issues to put a psychiatric gag on my face, on my mouth. If you wouldn't fear me more than you fear death, you wouldn't be doing any of this kind of stuff. You don't do this to people and next to all other stuff, you did. You don't do this to the normal people. That's I'm talking about the cleanliness issues, which they became excuse already for crime in the past against me, and are becoming an excuse for completely mindless, insane crime that's taking place at this point in time with a desperate attempt to somehow apologize, not my mental issues, but your fear. You are scared to death. You watch my program 24-7, I'm fucking telling you, you watch my program 24-7, shaking in fear when you see me talking. And look at me, I'm going fifth year, 24-7, with the sleep about four or five hours a day, with the sound 24-7, which is not the sound that is related to some kind of, um, as people have some kind of acoustic problems, which is, I don't know what that is. People have this kind of problem. No, this, this sound is literally related to a pain sometimes I experience on top of the in top of the school. This is related to the blood clots, that kind of stuff. That's what it's a, it's it's related to the pressure. It's related to the lymph nodes. I told you about the cancer issues. That's what this is related to. You are afraid of me. Nobody ever was afraid of the human being. You are afraid of me. You are so fucking afraid of me that you can't fucking sleep at night. You go to computers, you turn them. The first thing you go and you watch are my videos. You're so fucking scared of me. You blocked me from having ability to display ads on my new site. Forget about Facebook where I'm not allowed to post links. You're so fucking scared. You blocked video view counters on my YouTube account, on my Daily Motion account, and on many different platforms which I have used to post videos on. That's how fucking scared you are. It's not even about the income, if that's not bad enough. That's how fucking scared you are. It's not even about blocking me from the right to employment. That's how fucking scared you are of the epitome of the conqueror of the number one in mental health. That's who I am. I'm no mental health expert. Fuck that. Let's go to my uh, cleanliness issues because I really have to do some cleaning to be honest with you. This is not so bad. I don't see nothing bad. This is the shit I do. This is my little stuff I entertain myself with. Uh, coffee. A little bit of milk, that kind of stuff, and then what I do, I use mixer to sweet my life a little bit, to ease my pain a little bit. Because the news I post, <laughs> I think, is 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 really the only news that a regular, average person have access to. In days of total mutiny, in days of the mainstream media which is simply omitting the truth by posting fabricated, uh, prearranged news in agreement, in a complete agreement with their patrons. You understand? So that the real news would not be seen. Ignore the main, the real news. You know that you know what I'm talking about. You understand me. My cleanliness is not only inside of my, uh, inside of the area where I am. My cleanliness is inside of my head, and sometimes, unfortunately, I sacrifice cleanliness in the room 
for the stuff I do. And then I get what kind of reminder? I get the shit over there on uh, next to the toilet, next to the paper and stuff like this. Really? Oh, okay. But I'm going to tell you, a psychiatrist, Peter Kopsch, you're not even mental expert. You are a severely sick individual in your head. You are mentally disturbed. You are mentally ill together with your police investigators of the Novo Mesto police station. You are mentally ill, sir. These are my shirts. I dry them. I wash the filters because I don't have the money and use them again. I know it shouldn't be like this and it's going to go away. I promise you that. These are my shirts here. I also dry them on this... Uh, Nothing else, however, is mine here. Uh, there is this communist fag, which is going back, that was full of mold. I washed one out, and it came out really, really pretty. It's just waiting to go back right on my wall, basically. Something I was told nothing until it's a communist flag. Well, you know, uh, I'm really a capitalist. The problem that, that you are dealing with, nothing else here is mine. The problem that you are dealing with, but my mother is clean, I'm telling you this, that she's a very, very clean woman. Not as clean as I am, but clean. Okay? I hand wash this. You understand? I detergent this stuff. I let this in a bucket. I let it dissolve. Not only human smell but the human grease, everything dissolve. Then I rinse this with the water. Then what I do is I throw this on a outside to dry itself out. So that also clothing would last me three, four times longer than what it lasts you using the... So it's clean also of detergent and what they compared during MK Ultra to literally Material that you buy inside of the pharmacies to cover your wounds. Ster sterile, you know, steril, Steri sterility. They told me the only thing that is sterile, if you would apply your clothing compared to mine, would be my clothing. Otherwise, you're not to use anything to put on your wounds. But the way I wash, yes, you can. Because it's also the soup that's rinsed detergent it's also rinsed out in a hot water go ahead and take it home your clothing after you wash one after you rinse one with your washing machine and do me a favor and put one inside of the bucket with the warm water to see what's going to come out still come out uh, your eye have to disappoint you but your clothing average viewer compared to mine is dirty So I am completely aware that I have to work on some cleanliness issues because I really neglected them. Not only because of the news that I write, but because of the psychiatry that does me a problem. This I have to put inside, sure, I have to do. I'm the only crazy motherfucker that dries uh, vinyl bags too, because I want to reuse them. They're good. You go out on a rain or wherever you use them, you can always reuse them, you use them. But that's not really mentally ill, that's not mentally sick. That's not what you would go and put the person uh, <laughs> just what you have seen right there. That's crazy, that's insane, man. To put somebody's shit on the, on the thing and psychiatric pills to remind him of cleanliness. What in the world is the fuck is wrong with you? Eh? You are mentally ill, you're not, you, you're a psychiatrist? How the fuck are you a psychiatrist? How the fuck are you a police officer? They were making food concerns they were making fun of my food food that i eat that i eat sweets that i don't eat the real food and then cook need to learn my to food i never eat food like this i never eat ground beef i never eat chicken almost i did eat chicken okay i admit why chicken that's what i liked i never eat the kind of food so what do you eat what do you eat what do you eat I never eat any kind of food like you eat. That's the food you eat. People from the big city you eat that kind of food. I never eat that kind of food. But the people from the big city told me, Germans, 
British, French, Italians, Americans. You're gonna fucking eat this. You're gonna fucking eat this. Fucking eat what? Food you never eat. So, what kind of food is my food? You cannot hear this river here. But this river is about 50 meters away from here. You can see the lights that are inside of the river right there. It's not even 50 meters away. This was my food. This is where I got my food. This was my food. I never eat. Are you going to say, oh, but you eat something else? No, the thing is I didn't. That was my food. And when they compared thrombosis and cancer and all other health issues they talked about, they realized with that kind of food that I mentioned right now, there is no, like, molecular-wise, a fucking chance, 0.0001% that I would ever suffer from thrombosis or cancer. My teeth, ladies and gentlemen, came out, the first teeth came out at age, the last teeth, the first teeth that come out, I don't know how we say that, they came out at age 15, 16. I had to go to Ljubljana to a dentist and they used this big fucking hooks to, uh, to pull my teeth out because it was, it, was, it was so strong composition that I had. I'm not the one to worry about the mental health. I'm not the one who should concern himself about the food related issues and about basic basics in life. This is just a fucking excuse for Illuminati on the first place not to pay, to steal, to lie, finally to kill, get away with it. Something they haven't done with a lot of other people. But it's also something that made me understand that royals are not a way to go for any society. Because when you're doing to the people that are the most desert for your wealth, for your security, for your well-being, you're, you're not worthy shit, basically. You're actually creating a communism. You're actually creating issues within the society that makes people, that make people mad. You are actually creating lunacy. You are actually creating mental related, health related issues. I know where this is coming from. I know who did this stuff. I know how all this concerns, how it all started. Excuses for cleanliness, for food, for all that stuff. Next to the lunacy the psychiatrists created was my room that was covered with a mold. And you know what? I'm not here to hide anything from anybody. The room, the room is as you see here. The room is right now neglected. I was doing all kinds of stuff that included Windows installation, change of the hard drive, a problem with the hard drive one appears already also was open so I had to do all kinds of tests uh, I had to very record all kinds of stuff but this here this place here this is a fucking war zone this is not this is not your ordinary room until 2000 the light that you see right there did not exist in this room if I was to put the bulb like this the bulb will be destroyed within the one week or two weeks the most. This is very difficult to work in a room like this. People had literally flashlights when they when uh, when they were testing the life inside of this room. The room right now is really really neglected. But understand that I worked night and day on a cleaning exactly cleaning issues. Psychiatrists, police have created. Otherwise, it's not bad. The, the cables, depending on what kind of cables, whatever it is, they're here. It's all sorted out. Everything is sorted out. 
everything is sorted out for the car, for different caterers, whatever is broken, whatever is not. I was doing some repairs to it. There's, that's another issue. Box for the outdoor stuff. There is really nothing much. All I have to do is basically go now and uh, actually this one is going with me. You see this shit here? Do you see this? I gotta make sure that you see it. Do you know how much time it takes every time for you to collect computer, for you to collect every cable, everything that you have and place inside of your backpacks and depart from there? Because if you don't do it, I swear to you, you come back and it's destroyed. I have to do the test on number of the cables that do nothing other but charge. It is a much greater damage has been done to me. I have not even video recorded. In fact, there's been so much damage done to me, I possibly cannot even catch up with the damage. My hard drives couldn't fucking... I have so many videos I have to release, my hard drives cannot even... don't even catch up with the amount of damage that was done to me. And yeah, you have to video record everything. And the cleanliness issues become excuse. The way. The way for basically denying an individual what otherwise should be this is the back for the sewing. I tell you what, yeah, you see the room? This is what my room looks like now. This is uh, no more than five minute job to get it clean. Put the jacket over there, put that stuff inside. Um, five minutes, it's done. However, the room is clean. I gotta make sure about this stuff here. Why am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? I'm doing this kind of stuff because I have neglected, I have not done this kind of stuff and this kind of stuff was the most important stuff and then the only thing that happened was I had people come inside and dump the garbage all over the place this time nobody did that is my shit, this stuff, this is mine this stuff is mine I have to go and I have to vacuum the room again that's okay this, what you see inside of the room, that's a five minute job you see the time right there? It's probably even three minute job. Watch this out. Voila. The room is clean. The room is clean. The room is clean. Look at it. This here bag I'm using for the sewing purposes only. Needles and material that I use to repair the destroyed stuff. Okay. Everything is selected. Whatever I use, whatever not. This here. I don't think I even did like this. I like straight like this. Everything is selected. Everything is okay. Everything is fine. I'm gonna take this bag. I'm gonna put one right here. The job is done here. This here, just the way it is. The shoes with a vinyl underneath. Because I don't want the police to come inside anymore and throw the garbage underneath. They got the garbage literally from here. Why this here? What is this here? This is garbage that I vacuumed inside of this room. So why the, sh why the hell is this shit here? But this shit is here because it's an old vacuum I'm using. And it's really difficult even to vacuum with. 
you vacuum with a little tube like this, this is everything, uh, not inch by inch, by, but centimeter by centimeter I go. And unfortunately there is stuff that is pulled inside and before, and before I throw this away, I have to go over when cleaning the filter. This is not your average vacuum cleaner, but it's mine. I bought one in Austria. They destroyed me one. They keep one disabled even for like several years. It was brand new, brought one here inside of the house and one stopped working. Threw one on the attic area. Just to learn the one is actually working when they started to tell me that I'm lazy, that I'm incompetent, that I'm dirty. That's how they develop the issues based on which then they suggest that something is wrong with you. So I plugged one in and started to work again. I'm so proud about my things. Here, because every time I use it, I have to clean the filter here inside at dust. All kinds of stuff is stored, sometimes even little screws that fell to me down on the floor. And I always inspect before throwing this away thoroughly. But I don't have a time to do this every time. So what I do is I put this inside of the bag. It's what police have used to literally enter the room and I video recorded that stuff. And disseminate garbage all over the room. You, you get it? This stuff I have nothing here to clean. This is just the reason I brought this stuff from the father's workshop. There's nothing here to clean about this stuff. This is cleaned. Then you have a tires here. They told me this is impossible to, clean, to keep so much stuff inside of this room. I'm happy, okay? Under, the, under this thing that you see here, there's God knows how many shoes here, old shoes. I still keep because I repaired them. Because I don't have the money in a situation they created. This thing here floated on a water. A police officer literally have flooded the whole area here just as he stated he would with exactly this notebook sarcastic sadistic and done in exactly the same psychological manner as the car assassination plot which took place in year 2007 when the police planned assassination by first changing me tires, replacing my brand new tires worth four or five hundred euros. Five hundred euros I think the tires cost at the time. With completely old, worn out, shit tires. And since that was not enough, they painted the road where I went fishing. On a part related to a little settlement known, if translated from Slovenian Peko, as hell. That's where they tortured me during MK Ultra and claimed me, you will die, you will go to hell. That was in 2007. You understand? And this here, this shit here, tells me this is done in the same, by the same individual. Whoever orchestrated car assassination plot, Novo Mesto Police told me this is going to be the case. It was Novo Mesto Police that exercised car assassination plot in 2007. It's all psychology and it's easy to trace brain, logic, crime, where, from which head is coming from. And then what, what is it? What is so bad about this stuff here? I don't see anything wrong. I don't see anything wrong about this stuff here. This is all sorted out. Every shoe, everything, everything is sorted out inside. This is not that just thrown inside. All these shoes are sorted out. Everything in the bags, everything is sorted out. What, what's so terrible? This is what? A hair cutter. So, hair cutter goes right here. I don't see anything, absolutely anything wrong with it. The only thing that I have to say about the hair cutter, is the clip that you adjust on a hair cutting machine. I was looking for one Eight months I couldn't find one, and it was the only clip that I used to cut my hair. Finally found one in an attic area. That's where police took one too. 
Eventually, the one who took the credit for that crime was my mother. I don't see nothing terrible in this, in this stuff here. Eventually, I'm going to use this one. I'm demonstrating the worst parts about myself. What is this thing here? Well, because I don't have the money. I'm using this. It lasts me for about a year. Stuff like this. Now you're going to say, well, rusty issues is what police told me. Well, the rusty issues, not really. They tried. They tested. They tried to fuck me through the rusty issues. It really didn't work. They tested out and realized they will not be capable to prove me that my health problems are deriving from the rust or anything like this related to this stuff. This is the state of the art ability to cope with psychological issues and use something old at your advantage. Take full potential of it. I use them for a year, not every week. I used to use them for a week. No, I use them for a year. I use this for a very long time. Everything I use because I don't have the money. So, okay, so something is wrong with me. Okay, I'll take that credit. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take responsibility for it. I don't have time. Remember what I told you? I don't have time as much as average viewer has time. A mouse, okay, put one here. This shit, new hard drive install, that kind of stuff with some other stuff I documented, it was already all open. Bots inside of the Slovenia, inside of the stores. Not a good stuff. And promised by the novel Mr. Police, the case is going to be. Um, then I don't know what to tell you. There is not much here. This is, for me, this is workable, this stuff here. Oh, I use this to clean my tooth. I'm not going to go to the dentist till this case is over. And that's what makes psychiatrists better cops. That's what makes Slovenian police strong. That's what makes you fucking strong. Who broke the tooth to contribute to the blood clots? I do not understand what that relationship would that have. But when you open so many wounds in an individual and you add to that a tooth, then you really tear one apart, don't you? Well, because I was tortured at every dentist inside of the city of the Novo Mesto, I am going to place this on hold till I get to the dentist I actually trust. I know it's not hygienic, right? But it tells more about your mental health issues than mine, because you created this shit. So this is basically my filthiness. That's all there is to it. This is my workroom. Um, that's just the way it is. This is it. I told you, everything, however, is sorted out. Socks. These are winter socks. I'm gonna push here. More tools, mini tools. Batteries. Never use this stuff here, and I don't even know what he's doing in here. Items long time, long ago, I don't use, do have a tendency to come back inside of the room from the attic area. Which I am also fixing at this time. I'm also doing an order inside of the attic area. So basically, this is your, this is your uh, disgust with my issues. And that's how you bought a time at international community by suggesting basically on just how filthy and unacceptable I am. 
how everything is just simply, simply, simply wrong with me. You found every fucking excuse, not in the book, but in the book of lies. To not perform job at European Court for Human Rights in Strasbourg or in Brussels at European Union Parliament. Every fucking excuse you possibly could have found in the book of lies, including United Nations, and I'm not going to go into mainstream media issues. There's really nothing, nothing so insane about my mental health that I would not know what the fuck I'm doing. What am I up to? You know what? For my standards, to tell you the truth, the room is dirty. It's not the way it should be. It's not really in order. But this is not... This is not in a category of this. This is not in a category of this. Now, we are heading to the worst place possible. We are heading where big time anxiety issues uh, during MK Ultra torture took place. I'm taking you to a horror place. This is basically where I slip, right here, like this on a foam, like this on a floor. Uh, this is all there is. That's all there is. This is where I charge stuff. And uh, this is the hunting room that you see right there. That's what this is. Mm, nothing here really is mine. Uh, what is mine? Let me see that. This I have to clean. I have to change this. It's this thing here also that's mine. A jacket which I use to sleep because it's cold. It's that bucket right there that's mine. Uh, and the two boxes which I use for the storage, clothing storage, that's mine. The rest of it, all that stuff, all this stuff that you see right there, none of that stuff is mine. None of it is mine. Nothing here is mine. Nothing is mine. In fact, you know what? Inside of this household, there is just those 10 square meters that I own. For which electricity is paid and I get the food which absolutely I never ever would consume that's mine none of this stuff is mine this is all from my parents and the place where I'm taking you next that's also mine the anxiety issues were oh we are coming in and we see this we go Pass this here. Now I'm going to the police. That's what police insisted me. The case is going to be. I'm going to take you to the mental health issues. Right now I'm taking you to the mental health issues. The only friendly warning from my father. Do not go inside in here. Do not go inside on here. Mold, mold, mold. You will die. Then they talk to me about the particles. That is here astronomical amount of uh, mold particles. I assume that this is what they were referring to. Because explanations they didn't give. They only gave clues. Based on which they performed torture. 
Uh, this was the thing. But my father was the one who gave this room to police in police hands in 2011 to handle. Literally grow mold inside of one. Staying like a motherfucker. I really got sick the first day because I didn't put enough attention. I, pay, I paid too much attention to the car rather than a room itself in which I worked to clean the car. And this is a garage. What's mine inside of this garage is this, this, and the, the car. This shoes, jumper cables. Uh, this is what I brought downstairs. This. And then I have to disappoint you, nothing else. And uh, before I even started with uh, this here that you see, before I even started, I had a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous argument with my mother because it was this here completely shitty. It's all video recorded and also audio recorded. She came downstairs to verbally abuse me. She came downstairs and engaged in a heavy psychological abuse because I was cleaning the garage. And I was cleaning the garage to put my car inside. And I have to tell you, for using a chainsaw to cut the pallets, like you see here, to the certain, exactly to the certain, uh, so that it matches, you see, that uh, uh, the garage, the edge, uh, which, that's a cement, right? So that's the only mu as much as you can use to store this stuff. I'd rather to have thrown all over in the middle. You use area at your potential. And you go and you do the stuff like this. So you can put the car inside. It goes likewise here. Somehow I set this stuff aside like this and make it like this. So the car was, so I could get the car inside due to, you know, wideness issues. This is the only thing that's mine in the room upstairs, and it was a trouble. It was no good. It was a problem. And they attempted to portray the mold issues literally as a health-related issue, as a mental illness issue. This here is mine. This computer, cables, the stuff, you know, that... You leave that, unfortunately, I left behind much of it here and was destroyed, and it could be worse. This here is mine. This is what came with a, with a, with a car. This, this came with a car. This, this is what police gave me as a gift. This, 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 this here. See a little bit more of this stuff here. This. I don't think it was as bad as this. I think that the cable, I have to go back upstairs. But I need to jump the car, basically, because I figure out the problem is with the uh, car not running. Um, a police officer investigator uh, who very, very likely was the same individual who was, and I don't remember a single one of them, attorney for the police station, Novo Mesto, Upon car assassination plot, which they exercised, police proceeded to Novomest, the Slovenian police proceeded to steal the money from me for the parts, for the car parts which I paid. That was for the Mazda, which I imported from the United States. They proceeded to steal the money, about 500 or 400 euros, 500 dollars worth, 550, I think, dollars worth in parts. I paid for the Mazda Protege in Germany. They proceeded to abandon investigation. They first claim me they got a perpetrator, everything is going to be okay, this and that, but never reported to me about what's going on. And instead started to harass and include issue in MK Ultra torture. When they lost the case, as I started to complain against the police in Novo Mesto for what they did, 
they deliberately did not investigate the case anymore. They delayed, they delayed, delayed, and then they no longer wanted to in, in, investigate the case. Whenever I would come to the police station, they started to harass. Uh, I reported them to the police. Uh, police got a, a little court, and it was at the police station acknowledged by this court at the police station that police, in fact, violated every possible code in a police in a book of the police. That it was a harassment, that it was intimidation, and foremost that they have deliberately not investigated the case. It's when the police, Slovenian police, sent Slovenian Supreme Court sent psychiatrists and psychologists at our home here to intimidate him with a psychiatric hospital. What triggered for me, since I was forcefully jobless without the right to even report myself as a job seeker in the city of the Novo Mesto, that's at the employment agencies, they were torturing me. Forced me back to the United States of America. That happened in 2008. You understand? About the mental illness issues, that's mental illness issues. That's a mental illness in my case. And so what you see here, a police investigator, I was a state prosecutor that was trying to get me in 2007, 2007 and have lost the case against me, said it to me like this, if you will believe in this kind of bottle, yeah, yesterday I reported about how I got the Germans. Uh, one time we returned with Angela Merkel, with uh, Angela Merkel, a, a very good close friend of Angela Merkel is Ursa von der Leyen. This is like a family to Angela Merkel. One time we returned uh, from whatever, and it was uh, Angela Merkel that was very upset with me that I have to listen to the German guy who was staying inside of the house fighting with a uh, malt related to this car. And the year was, my God, the year probably was 2010 even. Now I realize this shit goes even further down. That it's impossible to maintain one and I don't know what. I don't know, maybe it was 2013, sorry. And she got very upset with me because I started to ridicule the guy. I didn't want to drugged up believe in this kind of stuff. Don't want to have anything to do with it. And he was threatening that this is these are the issues I'm gonna have I'm gonna be dealing with and so on and so forth. Um, and the guy claimed her. The guy claimed her. Let me see. Yeah, this is humid. Yeah, this was a good good decision I did yesterday. Yeah, I'm we're gonna do some other stuff too. I basically replicated the stuff that this German guy did. All through, I did not recall this, but once I started to do, I recall the whole event about what already went on here. Um, this is just used basically to squeeze that. The police officer investigator, uh, the German guy was completely out psychologically. I mean, he was completely disbounced. Um, stared me like this, to be completely, completely precise about it. Slovenian investigator, police officer. Uh, he was, uh, they were fighting with his mall issues and so on. Now, this was already later. This was probably in 2014. Yep. Uh, because we have gone through the mold issues, how to remove the mold, and it was impossible to remold, remove the uh, mold, even maintain the car over the, in the winter time inside of this garage. Those are the issues that they turned into a contest, literally. Uh, and it was this German guy, eh, it must have been in 2013, 2012, 2012. It was this German guy who, who claimed me uh, that this here is the only thing that's going to save my life and so on and so forth. But it was a police investigator, a state prosecutor, Novo Mesto prosecutor from police, police prosecutor. I think he was a police prosecutor, not even uniformed, ununiformed investigator. 
I think it was actually prosecutor, who told me, uh, especially if I see this, we go back to cleanliness issues, this kind of stuff. If we see this kind of stuff here, laying around, you know, I'm in the middle of the fucking work. There's stuff that needs to be done. If I see this kind of stuff, the only thing that's going to happen is um, I will proceed to use this to sip this into the area here, which is like a block, except that this is sponge. Yeah? You see this stuff? This is like a sponge. So what he did was he went ahead and he watered this here that you see. This issue here that you see, according to his words, according to the words of the police officer, whether he did this or not, I do not know. I don't know enough about this particular even car model and so on. If this is, this is how he interpreted it. This is how he interpreted it. It doesn't have to be like this. You could go open the door and you can go and you can spray inside. This doesn't have to be like this. Germans were the one. I actually thank Germans for this stuff. Not that it would be of any help to me, but it was a, it's good to know that somebody was looking out for you, that somebody was looking after you. So they were the one, they alerted me that I shouldn't even say, that I should even refrain myself from saying what I repeated, the words of police investigator, how he did this stuff. Because it could be with a car model. And according to the Germans, according to the Angela Merkel, according to the Ursula von der Leyen, it's actually the car model that has this kind of problem. Do you understand that? So it's this, most likely not even the scenario, this most likely was a malicious Slovenian police crime, a mindless beating torture based on a sleep deprivation through the use of drugs. Pain, suffering, struggle to even get up and go about the day, they have based this upon. Now, I see some uh, water around here. I was not even today here. And this is the stuff that makes me a little bit feel strange about it. It shouldn't be this water around here. I'm going to tell you that. The water shouldn't be around here because I was not here. Most likely will not even be anywhere here, this water. It's a question why this water is here. This shit is mine. I am doing this. is the third, war, the third day I'm spending to keep my, mar my car clean, malt-free. A malt was introduced into garage, literally here by an individual, a mechanic inside of the village, who was making money with detailing cleaning cars of the Illuminatis, that would want their car clean, special cleaning services he was doing right inside of this garage. And he figured out the best he could possibly earn was related to from whoever he earned the issue of malt. And he started to disseminate the deliberately cars into the car's malt. All the neighbors became involved in crime of malt because he didn't want to be isolated criminal. He involved the neighbors and started to clean cars for the money from Illuminatis that would come here. And this is how the mod was presented. And they started with this kind of stuff, maybe even as early as 1995, when the MK Ultra crime started. Not even in 1996. If you want to know the whole history about the police, Slovenian police, state crime in respect to the mold issues inside of this garage. I quite understand my father that he lost completely cool, that he went insane when the stuff like this started. I had, I don't know how many cars I had. I had three cars, I think, if not more. They were parked inside this garage. None of them ever had any fucking mold. And I left to the US in 95. So for me to say, uh, Renault 4, Renault 4 was one. And uh, then I had uh, a Lada, a Russian Lada Samara. That was another car. Lada Samara was another car. And then I had Fiat 128, 128 Fiat also had. Uh, and I don't know, maybe it was some other car too. I don't know. 
So this is in respect to my cleanliness issues, which I'm, I can guarantee you that what I did with a car with a, such a velocity speed to figure out the issues with a car. And I'm right now even telling you that Angela Merkel and Unser von der Leyen, Germans assured me, it's not what police officer told me that if you're going to leave the bottle like this, the state prosecutor, Slovenian, that he's going to be sipping. Now I know, based on MK Ultra information, and I do trust Germans, that this was not the thing. The thing was that they caused mold issues inside of the car, uh, and this car was God knows how many times detailed here inside of this garage, but also international crews involved, inspecting one and so on. They told me you will never ever be capable to, to keep the car free of mold. They all guarantee me that, including the lady, everybody. There is no chance inside of this garage that you possibly could keep one uh, free of mold. So I am inspecting how that looks like, and I see one totally, totally, totally free of mold. I don't absolutely see any mold. Now let's see my invention I did yesterday, what that did for me. I see the car completely, completely, completely free of mold. Don't see absolutely any, any, any mold. Totally, totally mold free completely. This is all uh, lemon uh, mixed with uh, citric acid. Uh, I don't know how you say kislina. That's what I did first. That was the first hit I did. Uh, and then what I did was uh, I went uh, one more time and I was using literally uh, I literally was using citron like citron lemon to kill mold as much as possible however uh, and as you see my stuff works immaculately it, it's impossible to stop mold to prevent mold from what I demonstrated yesterday in the video because of the effect it's called condensation effect when you try to dry the car uh, what happens is it gets warm inside yes warm inside but from this area here the warmth is the one that pulls the cold inside it's like I put the, the hand here when it was hot inside and it felt like air conditioner here and that's the issue that I demonstrated to you a little earlier about that filter. This, as I stated, is most likely the factory uh, fault. It's not actually uh, what malicious police investigator, police officer instigated in. So they, they again wanted to portray the case like a paranoia, uh, something wrong with you, it was established that this is a normal thing for this car, for this model make, and for many other model makes. And that's the kind of stuff that is used by the psychiatrist to apologize next to the cleanliness issues, forced hospitalization, excuse basically, forced unemployment and all other issues. So do you understand now the mental issues? related to this crime what exactly the mental issues you now understand a paranoia a schizophrenia of this case all supported with the violence it worked uh, like a magic you can see that i stopped uh, mold from spreading anywhere in the car uh, with exception of what you see right there a dashboard and i'm completely fine with it because that gives me i buy myself time you know I do it maybe, uh, maybe it's going to be even every 14 days that's going to require me to do a complete detailing. But I have to tell you that two days, let me tell you, two days mercilessly, I was inside of this car uh, going over and over and over and over and over and over and over, disinfecting, killing mold as much as possibly I was capable to, to, to cause one damage. That's what the fuck I was doing. I didn't spare a second of time to not go after malt over and over and over and over again. It wasn't one time polishing. It was maybe 
10 times the same area polishing and going with a with a fan to dry it then afterwards immediately while having the heater very very good stuff but i got to make sure that the cold air is not coming somewhere pulling actually even the mold from underneath through the engine block literally inside of the car which police preemptively have dismantled by causing engine failure a requiry to replace a head gasket you see how this is all connected because if you start the car and it gets warm inside in there there is no place for mold you understand that so you can see the chain the police chain the crime how the slovenian police how they engineered the crime from dot to dot to dot to dot and say oh, you're mentally ill now do you remember that shit in a toilet that, that most likely my mother have left that is inside of the psychiatrist peter kapsch it's a garbage it's a trash it's a human shit it's a dunk it's a waste and he goes the same to director of novomesto police and others involving crime against me the biggest crime in respect to the car however hopefully i'm gonna have enough time to record this the battery is going dead however was related to a box that was here that was bigger crime for which police even investigator where i threw the stuff during mk ultra it was the box here with a big ass umbrella and it was a police officer that pushed in my personal space that would come and appears was pushing this box closer and closer and closer to the car or making me every time when i would go around the car bent myself more and more and more from the box that was coming not umbrella not that box none of that stuff should have been here i cleaned the room there is i don't know um I don't know how is this here. This is maybe 15 by 20. Go and figure out that maybe 300 square meter uh, more because it's three floors place to put that stuff. And you have to put it here. You got to do that stuff. I'm talking about the mother who took me out to perform torture on me on how I am. If I'm going to even buy the car, the garbage which you refer to is she's going to go and do that kind of stuff to demonstrate me the ultimate what she think about the car and this and that and my employment issues and my ability to survive so it was a police officer who was coming here repeatedly back and was even pushing the box to remind during mk ultra on anxiety issues for which the police insisted you're going to be sitting inside of the car and we're going to come to pick you up, arrest you, and take you to the police station. It was a couple, female and male. They would not let sleep when they did the torture and inspected the box. Because you're going to go and you're going to... Uh, they, they, mother was the one who challenged with that stuff. What are you going to do with, with umbrella? Don't do this. Then I, that's something I already have described uh, on my new side. The battery is dying, really. So I have to close the video before it's going to go wrong. So, now, I, that's all I wanted to explain to you about the mental health related cleanliness issues and other issues and so on and so forth. How this crime also was, how many times the Slovenian police, I'm going to ask, how many association attempts have you done? How many times were you trying to assassinate me together with your London Illuminati, which is the strongest thing you have, it's such a little shithole with the two million people. And a, such a such a powerful such a such a powerful strength that you sucked to demonstrate the world what you are capable through Vladimir Putin through the Russia through the KGB with together with the London how much you are capable to to go and violate all the principles all the laws of the European Union all the assistance you were granted. So when you are referring to me, I am an epitome. I'm the number one, not the mental health expert, not the mental fitness expert. I am the mental fitness. I am a mental health. This is who I am. This is what I am. So you get to know me and understand why these kind of issues are taking place.